This video is part of a series. If you are interested in watching a couple of complete noobs learn how to fabricate, please subscribe. Uh, we have been inspired by movies like Dirtbag. Motorcycles are sexy. The bucket list dream of ours is actually to build a motorcycle. What we don't have are the fabrication skills, probably one of the most important skills, knowing how to weld. I had wanted to get something fabricated for my sexy bar. We have a friend who, who does welding. So we went and visited with Bevan and, and asked him about the project, but also said, you know, is there, is there any way we can get involved with it so we can learn? And um, he was actually really open. Today we reached a really special milestone. Getting to the point of finishing finishing the web to have it looking really good and, and natural in terms of um, the texture that we added today and then getting to the point where we've put the spider on and it's now welded on. That whole process was so fun and so exciting. I couldn't contain my excitement mm. just mm. because that's the culmination of, yeah, the vision of the whole thing. Rel has got us down here at some ungodly hour of the morning. It's almost 10.30. As I say, an ungodly... Gentlemen don't come out at this hour. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> She's got us down in the workshop so we can have a bit of a bigger day. So we can try and knock out as much of this last piece of the sissy bar that we can. Today we're creating the kind of luggage rest for the sissy bar so that the luggage doesn't sit directly on the rear guard. On guard! To war! <laughs> Probably don't need one right in there. Put them out there. the centre one. Yeah. It would save a lot of work, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would save yeah. a lot of work and it's not necessary. Put one directly in the middle, I yeah, think. Yeah, put one in here and then one yeah, out so there. The big, big, so these are for the big ones yep. that I've cut for you. Awesome. For ease of work, I reckon we just do two. Once we've got some of these outer weblets yep. done, maybe four of those, yep. one, two, three, four, yep. Then tack those up, mm -hmm. and then we can have another look on the bike. Yep. Cool. I wonder if we've actually invented a new word, mm -hmm. weblet. Weblet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just I like the term weblet. Weblet. That describes the curves. Yeah. Yeah. Nice flowing curve for the weblet. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Bevan. Right. Appreciate it. Thanks, There's a curve. That's better. So Bevan has left us in the workshop unsupervised, so when the cat's away, the mice will play. I'm going to be running with some scissors. I'm running with scissors. Hopefully he doesn't watch this. Probably break there if you want. <laughs> Lunch time.
just a little bit, little small section to go there. Let's take the two pieces out to the bike so we can see <laughs> we can see what angle they're going to have to be welded together on. Yep, good plan. Bring the camera. Good plan. So if that's there. You know what? Mm. We're actually going to get away with that being on a straight line from down that centre. Right, yeah. So, yeah. I can see that. It's going to work. Like, that's going to be close to the fender, but it's still two, two or three centimetres away mm. here. Mm. Um, And it just looks like this really cool web style kind of cage on it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's brilliant. Let's get a shot. Really yeah, that, that's really cool. So these can literally be welded straight together. this thing. <laughs> Eyes? Yep. Eyes? Yep. That's pretty good, eh? Even down to the distance like that where it lines up with the curve in the back there. Yeah, yeah. See that? And that line down the middle? Yeah, that looks awesome. Who are we? <laughs> Fabricators? <laughs> I have to hold it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of art. Oh, let's finish it. <laughs> see what happens when Bevan leaves us alone? <laughs> yeah, Bevan. See, see what happens when he leaves us to our own devices? See the mayhem we create? And then if that's on, that's about 90 degrees that's there. I love the subtleties in the shape of this. That back bit curves down, the front bit is simply straight. Yeah. There's that subtle curve through the middle. Excellent. It's uh, four o'clock. We've been here since around 10.30. We've just been trying to smash out the uh, last part uh, of the sissy bar, the luggage rack, basically to stop luggage sitting on the guard. It's been a damn good day. It's been a really good day. It was a small part that Bevan had just started off for us as a wee base, just three little ones tacked together. And we've done the rest and pretty much got it all done. It's just finishing mm. it now. Today really has been about everything that Bevan's taught us and shown us and all the little techniques all coming together today. He really hasn't been in the workshop. It has just been Rel and I bending metal, all day. cutting metal, yeah. well welding made. metal to get this piece to where it is at the moment. There's, there's hand finishing to be done on it and then it needs to be welded to the sissy bar along with perhaps a couple of little braces that we will again make look like spider webs. I was a bit apprehensive when you wanted to do a full day and drag us along for a full day, but I'm really glad that we did. Just wanted to yeah. smash it out, and yeah. we have done, and we, we just worked really hard all day. So I think another half a day and it will be ready for powder coating. Mm. 
I'm buggered now though, eh? Same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tired. Not far away now, folks, and I know that there's people out there that are following this along, and, and yes, it has taken quite a long time. There is only certain times that we can get in the workshop, but uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel, so hang in there. We're almost at powder coating stage. <laughs>